for a scan to one half parsec on screen. Weapon droid management. More like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny wimey stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see. The future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You wish the energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. Watch how I saw. For now, it's gone completely. Engage. Hello, and welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. I'm your host, David, and joining me tonight, we have Stuart. Hello, everyone. We have Scarecrow. Good evening. We have Amy. Hello. And returning once again, we have Devin. Hello, everybody. Good to have you guys back, and tonight we've got ourselves one heck of a full show. We've got coverage on Supergirl. Uh, the episode was given to everybody because magic, um, and so we've been able to see it, and we're going to give our feedback on that. So prepare for a little bit of spoilerishness when it comes to um, when we hey, get to Jody. there. Um, hello, Jody. We're watching you. Hi, you honey. You. <laughs> I'm not distracted easily at all. We've got who is a time lord? We've sifted through heaps of random other characters, and we've decided on who is actually secretly a Time Lord in another totally unrelated universe. And we've also got Indie Pop. Devin's going to be covering that, Indie PopCon. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. We'll, we'll, so we'll get to that a little bit later. And also, last but not least, I've forgotten the other topic. Wow. I suck as a host. I, I, I really don't know. Uh... I really the do. Marvel and DC <laughs> comic reboots? No, or... no, no, no. How did Was... Stargate and Star Trek oh, help one. establish the Marvel Cinematic Universe? That's Answer? One. Probably didn't, but it definitely played a role. Anyway, I reckon the new Doctor Who also helped play a role. Anyway. <laughs> uh, and the new Battle Star Galactica. I think yeah. anything that has come before it has paved, it has paved the way for it. Oh, yeah, but multiple stories from different points coming together into one super story. Oh, yeah. um, which is effectively the equivalent of the Avengers, is sort of where the lead-in for that is. So, anyway, let's start with... Who is a, secretly a Time Lord? So... Miss Frizzle. Miss Frizzle? <laughs> so, uh... those who don't know, Miss Frizzle is the driver on the Magic School Bus. And we know it's definitely bigger on the inside. Oh, yeah, and it can change shapes and do all sorts of crazy, Stop silly... Yeah, Wibbly yeah, yeah. wobbly yeah. timey wimey stuff. And there's there's also the hilarious fan fan thought, and I actually really love this. I only found about this earlier. That secretly Miss Fizzle is actually Frizzle. Whatever. It's actually <laughs> Did you say Miss Fizzle? <laughs> no. <laughs> I t- oh, yeah. oh, that's I, a misfire. <laughs> I, I blame Stuart. It's Stuart's fault. I'm reading his notes. <laughs> I'm not, I'm reading my notes. But I'm yeah. reading Stuart's notes, and it's his fault because he typed them up wrong. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so Miss Frizzle is secretly River Song from Doctor Who. Explains the hair. Yeah. <laughs> explains the hair, explains the crazy, explains the Time Lord. Doesn't so, stri- just... explain her dress. Yeah, I guess it really doesn't. But remember, she's whenever she regenerates, she always thinks of a dress size. Just for anybody watching, um, I'm not really big into Doctor Who, so I'm probably going to be quiet for most of this discussion. <laughs> oh, we're only slightly referencing Doctor Who. It's Most of it's just ridiculously silliness. <laughs> yeah, like Link. Yeah, Link. Let's go with Link as number two. <sighs> Stuart doesn't like thinking of him as a Time Lord, but... Let's, let's, no. think, let's think about it this way. He's been on many adventures. He's travelled through time on multiple occasions. He's looked differently in almost every iteration. He's even looked like a comic character at one point. So, <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't get me started on the, on, the, on the anime that they did. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but isn't... Correct me if I'm wrong here, because again, I don't know a lot about Doctor Who, but isn't a key feature of a Time Lord the fact that they don't die? Yeah, they- Okay, the Doctor Who, they do well, die, then, they just regenerate. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. then, uh, Matt Pat from Game Theory would have like to have a word with you on Link being a Time Lord because he's 
built a theory around the fact that Link is actually dead. Yeah, that, well, they can die, and then they, they don't die, and then they can come back from being dead, like the Master did a couple of times. Yeah, they just uh, get they revived, by, re they they just got revived by fairies. They've yeah. got a limit to how many times they can regenerate. They yeah. can do it 13 times, and then officially, when they croak, that's it. Game yeah. over. Uh, yeah, true. but it's it's like Magic the Gathering. There's always a way to counter the thing. And there's always an excuse to get around the thing. So, yeah. Namely, your, namely your name is the Doctor. Yeah, pretty there's, much. There's a, there's a term for that. I, I can't remember the term for that. Retcon? Um, no, not retcon. Where, Wib like... Uh, Wibbly wobbly timey hero. wimey. <laughs> No, there's a specific term. I can't remember what it is. So. Yeah. yeah. Like, if we talk about this, then then by all means, the Flash is a Time Lord. Well, it, it could be really. He's traveled through time. He's got multiple companions. <laughs> he's he's, mul he's multiple inter um versions of of the Flash as well. Multiple different cause... versions. He's got bigger on the inside technology thanks to his little ring ring his ah! ring, ring with the costume. I remember the term. It's Deus Ex Machina. That's it. Yeah. Um, okay, let's keep going down our list. Let's see. Oh, here's a good one. Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> he, this is he, so weird. His, his trash can is bigger on the inside because we've seen that it goes all the way to Grouchland, which has got a swimming pool and all sorts of other craziness inside it. Yeah. When he first debuted, he was he used to smoke cigarettes and he was orange. Wait, really? Now he's... <laughs> now oh he's, my god, I want to see that. Now he's green... <laughs> He's obviously regenerated at some point. So, therefore, Oscar the Grouch is a Time Lord. I like this oh from a zero. About... Oh my god. What about Elmo? Elmo. <laughs> First time because, Elmo I mean, turned he up, has, he, 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 has has a... that he has that window that Mr. Noodle, like, lives in. <laughs> so wouldn't that technically be Mr. Noodle? Instead of um, Elmo? Okay, well, either, either one of them. <laughs> one of them seems like a likely candidate. <laughs> okay, an obvious one. You've got Santa Claus. Obviously, he is a Time Lord. Okay. I've got a weird. I've got a weird one. And yep. I just saw of it now. Bear from Bear in the Big Blue House. That, <laughs> house, that house is way bigger on the inside. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that alone. I've got one for you, and it's the only way for this story to make sense. Because Noah. That makes sense. Noah is a Time it? Lord. The uh, Ark is, it... is a TARDIS. Oh, There's God. no way he could possibly fit millions of species on a chunk of wood that he made in 100 years. He's like 900 years old. He has to be a Time Lord. It's the only reason that that could possibly make sense. Either that or religion is made up. It's made up. Um, oh, I, I mean, there. You, if <laughs> I remember correctly, a couple years back, they did actually find a massive Ark. No, every every six months or so, somebody claims to have found the Ark, but no independent Ark has ever been found anywhere. The only reference well, think... that we've found that's remotely close to it is the Epic of Gilgamesh, which tells the story almost word for word, but it's like 2,000 years older. And then there's another version which is older than the Epic of Gilgamesh, which is similar but on a slighter scale. You can sort of see it building... From the original story to the epic of Gilgamesh to Noah's Ark. That's the right <coughs> point. I still claim that if that story is true, he has to be a Time Lord. Because he had one window and a boat full of boat full of animals. And he had one window to shoot to scoop the poo out of, and he survived on that thing for a year with no explanation on food. Therefore Time Lord. He just time lorded forward a year. Problem solved. Animals walk on, animals walk off, you can't explain that. Yeah, he may have well, just taken a couple of species. <laughs> okay, yeah, because I was gonna say, okay, especially for the fact is the what are the animals gonna eat if they've only taken two of every animal? Yeah, well, technically it was two of every wild animal and seven of every domestic animal, but semantics. Okay, shall we get back on topic? Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm, I'm going there right now. I've been trying to get back on topic for a little while. Okay, <laughs> the next one, and I like this one, Mary Poppins. <laughs> See, this one I don't think anyone will ever argue on. Yeah. She's got it. She's got an umbrella, which is effectively a TARDIS. It just carries her wherever she wants to go for no apparent reason. She's got bigger on the inside technology when it comes to her bag thing, which was referenced in Doctor Who recently, when um, the TARDIS became really small and was inside. Um, sorry. 
<laughs> Bloody hell. Bless you. Ugh. Gesundheit. Yeah, it was inside, um, mm-hmm. what's her face? Clara's bag. And the doctor was, like, handing her stuff. And everyone was looking at her going, how the hell is she getting this massive crap out of his tiny little bag? <laughs> um, another possible Time Lord is Nanny McPhee. Well, isn't she sort of like Mary Poppins? Yeah, sort of. Yeah. But- I've got an I've got an interesting one for you. Yep, Doc Brown. Yes, that's an interesting one because every time he turns Great up, Scott, he turns yeah. up in Star Trek in a time traveling Klingon um, Romulan ship. He turns up in Back to the Future in a time traveling train and a time traveling car and a time traveling car and a time traveling car. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait! When was Doc Brown in Star Trek? He was a Klingon. Oh, that's, okay, yeah, that's right. He played a Klingon. <laughs> yeah, he played a Klingon. Don't forget, don't forget yeah, that forget he also that. Um, is just near invulnerable from damage. Yeah, he stood in front of a car, speeding towards it with no reason to assume that it would actually work. Yes, yeah, yeah. I was about to say he was in a. They um they mentioned Doc Brown and and, and the DeLorean in a million ways to die in the West. <laughs> Seriously? Well, yeah, there's a barn, and you can see sparks, and you, like you can see electric electricity coming out of it, like the light. And nice. then he opens the door, and then it's just like, and then it's just Doc Brown. And he's like hard, um, hiding the um, DeLorean. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then um, and um, then Seth MacFarlane leaves, and he's just like, great Scott. <laughs> I think another possibility would be yet. uh, he was also Fester, so yeah, he was. Yeah. All of a sudden, I think it's another all possi- making sense. I think another possibility would be Marty from uh, Warehouse 13. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> That would actually make a lot of sense too. He's got yeah. the bigger on the inside bag. He's got all yeah. I'll go with that. How about Carmen San Diego? See, this one. Uh, what's the bigger on the inside thing that she has? Oh, she doesn't. She's just got rapid transportation. She can jump across the world faster than you can get there with hat. instant transmission. Technically, the bigger on the inside thing is a hat, considering how big the hat she's is. Got a, and she's always got a change of clothes and other goodies in there. Yeah, fair point. See, see, I just think she can just teleport rather teleport everywhere. So, that doesn't make so sense for a TARDIS. So she's got instant transmission yeah. then. Yes. <laughs> here's uh, here's so another. So she's so she's not a uh, that would, that so would she's not a, on the phone. So she's not a time lord. She's actually a Saiyan. <laughs> okay, cool. Yes. Glad, glad we've worked that out. Um, here's a, here's another she's, interesting she's one. She's secretly her. she's secretly Pan. But I was like, didn't you know the bell, the bell that the bell that she wears isn't a bell; it's a tail that's wrapped around her. <laughs> and this this will be the last one I'm going to throw at you. Um, what if the founders are actually time lords? The founders from yeah, no, from uh, Deep Space Nine. Oh yeah, that's an interesting thought. Uh, yeah, this could be. Uh, a you've got me Is thinking it- now. I've got I've got a really interesting one. Yep. The Weeping Angels. Yeah. Uh, what? Uh, You're talking about uh, those those yeah, really statues. weird statues. Yeah. yeah. And there's a there's a reason to this, and I think it's really interesting. Who uh, is during... scratching around on a table? Because I'm gonna stab you. You're gonna <laughs> be airlocked. It's I mean... Amy, wasn't it? No. no. It's me. I'm trying to find something. Ah. Then mute yourself. Goodbye. Um. <laughs> Don't yeah, airlock me. Um... The reason why I think the possibly the Weeping Angels could be Time Lords is during um, David Tennant's Christmas special, The End of the World, the one where we yeah. have to say goodbye to him, like the final one. Yeah. When um, when the um the High Council come back behind, oh, I can't remember the main the main guy's name. Rassilon. Uh, yeah, you. he says that the weeping they will cover their face like the Weeping Angels of old, which was I thought yeah. was a really cool reference. But if you actually notice behind him. There's two people that actually have their face yeah. covered, like with their. With I know, that. and so one I of one of them be... looks up at the doctor and smiles. It's theorised that that's the doctor's granddaughter from way back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. But that could be. That could... Well, see, I think that could be weeping as well, and that way, then the, the, they're punishing the doctor for everything that he did. I mean, yeah. everything all changed now since the fiftieth, but yeah. I think pre um... fiftieth, that would make a lot more... that would make sense. Reading that uh, thing that you sent earlier, that Tommy from Rugrats is a Time Lord. Oh, yeah, we're getting, we're getting to that. We'll get to I was that. Le- leaving that to last. Yeah, okay. No, yeah? We'll, we'll get back to that. We've, I've still got at least two more others to cover first. This, 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 another 
another British one. Um, and <laughs> is for all the time lords gonna be British? Why can't we have some American ones? Because they're British. It's part of being British. If you're a time lord just by being born there. Anyway. How can he be born? He was born on another planet. So, yeah, the only decent thing America tri- has contributed to sci fi is Independence Day. Ow. That's I'm pretty it. sure Down. Gene Radbury is American. Is he? I'm not sure. I'll have a look. Uh, anyway, James Bond is a Time Lord. He's got many different faces. He's done many different stories in many different eras. He doesn't seem to bloody age very well. Um, okay, he's American. <laughs> and he's got all sorts of crazy high-tech BS that doesn't really exist. <laughs> and let's not get started on the car. Yeah, like I said, the car's the TARDIS, or the CARDIS, as I like to call it. The CARDIS. <laughs> well, by I, that logic, I, then Triple X could be a Time Lord as well. Yeah. Wait, is in the character like that Vin Diesel played in Ice Cube? Yes, but I mean, there are more than one, there's been more than one person that was Triple X. Yeah, but these and guys are all ha- and he has technology that doesn't exist in real life, just like James Bond. Yeah, but James Bond is all technically meant to be the same person, even though there's different actors playing him. True, true. Yeah, Triple Xs are literally different people. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, um, Ash Ketchum from Pokemon. Which explains he, why he, he never ages. He never ages at all in like 30, well, 20 years, however long it's been on. I've, I've lost track. It's just, it's been way too I long. Don't, I don't care anymore. Yeah, it's, that's how, it's been on so long we stopped caring. Um, he's got bigger on the inside technology. He's always traveling with companions. <laughs> For the first season, one of them was a ginger and one of them wasn't. It's a little bit like Amy and Rory, which is sort of creepy if you think about it. Yeah, one was a ginger and one was not Asian. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we never know. Never found out what nationality Brock is. Yeah, Brock. Brock is just Brock is just we, Brock. We're leaving Brock with. The, we, we, yeah. we, we just uh, let's say he's African American, but he has Asian eyes. We'll leave it at that. Yep, leaving that alone. Please send all your hate mail to Stuart at SaveSciFi dot com. <laughs> for the record, that is not actually an email. <laughs> Note to self: Damn. Give Stuart an email. Make it for hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> probably be a fair bit of that. Uh, um, so let's let's move on to something that Amy ruined on us earlier. Tommy Pickles as a Time Lord. Well, you, you'd but, say the thing for his bigger, um, something bigger on the inside than the outside is his nappy. He's all, yeah. Admittedly, he's always got a <laughs> he's always got a bottle of milk, a screwdriver, and all sorts of crap crammed in that. No pun intended. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. P- pun taken. <laughs> that, that was very one, shitty, David. In one of the episodes, there the is... one who's making it. <laughs> oh, God. In one of the episodes, there was literally Daleks. They've yes, even had a light... Daleks. They've even had a lightsaber fight using torches <laughs> with lightsaber sounds. And <laughs> the cousin... What's her name? The, the older girl person? Angelica? Uh, yeah. Angelica? was Darth Vader. And she's like, no, I am your cousin. And he's like, no, and then falls down a slide. It's just so bad. Uh, yeah, but that's what made Rugrats so good. Oh, yeah, Rugrats is great. Um, what a, yeah, he's got what about ha- um, what about Jimmy Neutron or Dexter from Dexter's Lab? Well, there is a, there is a hilarious um, fan theory for Dexter from Dexter's Lab. He grew up to be Dexter from Dexter. Oh jeez. <laughs> no, okay. I don't. I don't want that. No, thank you. Ethereal asks, um, "What about Sherlock Holmes?" Sherlock Holmes, yeah. There's a, oh jeez, um, we're, go- we're going Hulock. Yeah. Uh, the, the only, my only problem with Sherlock Holmes being um, a Time Lord, even though he does, he ticks the British box. He. T- <laughs> He he ticks the multiple faces and multiple different points boxes. He ticks but the companion. He's always got a companion, yeah. He's always got... He's a, but he he ticks got the driving got, ever up the he's, wall. He's also he smarter than everybody else. But he hasn't got the bigger on the inside. Yeah. Or, the screw, Unless, yeah. Uh, or a screwdriver. Or, oh, but, yeah, or a screwdriver. But think of it this way. If Sherlock Holmes was a Time Lord, that would mean technically Robert Downey Jr. is a Time Lord. 
Which would oh, no, 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 which would no, no, no. He's not the Robert Downey Jr. isn't a Time Lord. He's a Robert Downey oh, Jr. is a fake played, Sherlock. He would have played. Okay, so he would have no. played a Time Lord. That no, no, he's he's a, he's, a, he's a, that that Sherlock doesn't count. It's it doesn't. It's not real. It's a it's a fictional <laughs> imaginary David never like existed. That, David doesn't like the, no. that one. No, no, Benedict Cumberpatch. <laughs> he is I a see Time where Lord. I see where you're going with this, because if you follow Devon's chain and don't rule it out like yeah. Dave is trying to, that means. That Iron Man is a Time Lord. No, no, no. Yeah. See, <laughs> see, I was gonna. I was, <laughs> see, I was gonna go with um, Benedict Cumberpatch as a Time Lord because he's been in Star Trek. He regenerated into a dragon because reasons. He regenerated from a dragon into Sherlock. <laughs> and now he's and now he's becoming Doctor Strange. And now he's becoming Doctor Strange. So see, he's obviously a Time Lord. And so is <laughs> and so is Iron Man. <laughs> Which would explain how he fits so much weaponry inside the suit. Yeah, that yeah. Yeah, that would be true. Mind you, pretty much any Gundam type suit always has more ammo than exists <laughs> in the whole world. It just never runs pretty out. Pretty much. Uh, most of them actually use that have that particular tab. Use energy weapons. Eh. The and actual yeah. bullets that... tend to run out. Yeah, I must say there are a few times where bullets have actually run out. <laughs> Yeah, he mm. doesn't really use like any like type Troa. of Gatling guns yeah, that much. Say, like, he Troa. just mainly uses repulsors and shit. So, really. <laughs> Troll ran out of ammo more times than I could count. <laughs> yeah, Troll was like Lena Taurus. <laughs> one good, <laughs> oh, one good blast. I got, really, that's it. I got a really interesting one for you because it's had multiple iterations and it's regenerated a lot, so it definitely fits that criteria. Oh, no. What if Godzilla is a Time Lord? <laughs> <laughs> That would be terrifying. That would, be, that would, be that would make terrifying. a lot. That would make a lot of sense. And I agree. Godzilla now officially a Time Lord. It it has and been also, done. Bam. And also a citizen of Japan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, he made a monster a citizen of Japan and a Time Lord. And he's also he's also the tourism ambassador for one of the cities as well. <laughs> Who else wants to taunt Murphy on this one? Like, <laughs> seriously. Mm. Let's see. Can we think of anyone else who could possibly be a Time Lord? Mm. Uh... Actually, I have one. <laughs> Op- I've got one. Optimus Prime. <laughs> no. Um, I mean, he has had multiple in- iterations and he's regenerated several times. So but he yeah. always looks the same, yeah, so that can... rules that out. But he's, uh, but he he is literally he bigger on the inside. Doesn't always look exactly no, the same. I've I've got one, and I know you, and I know I may get a bit of flack for this. <laughs> the em- the emperor. <laughs> Does that mean that Jurassic uh, Park Velociraptors are Time Lords? No, <laughs> no, they, they they're just Raptor Squad. <laughs> I can't wait. To the see Emperor that. doesn't make any sense as a uh, Time Lord. I'm yeah. sorry. Ah, it we, does though. We're going to be covering Jurassic World next week, so get ready yeah. for that. It's going to be the great. reason why the Emperor does actually um, ca- could count as a Time Lord is because there are multiple iterations of him, not just Palpatine. Okay. What you mean he's cut up into pieces and spread out across the world? No, no, no. There was a th- there was a theory that the, that the Emperor isn't Clones. a person. No, no. It, that it's not actually a person, it's a spirit that inhabits a body. So it sort of takes over the body. Yeah. You think about Malak was Malak was an emperor, Revan became an emperor for a bit. Uh, <laughs> Pal- Martian Pooh. Yeah, Martian Pooh. No. <laughs> he's, he's, but that's... <laughs> but hey, that's just, just no. a the theory. God. That doesn't a count. A game theory. Thanks for watching. No. <laughs> Wait, what's the so, game theory? Uh, anyway, I think I think uh, we've no, probably about no, no, no. I think we've probably no. about spent the Time Lords idea because I've got nothing. It's a, yeah, I'm scraping. There the was ball. one other I thought of, and I can't remember who it is now. So I guess what, if, what about what about Enzio or one of the Assassin Creed guys? No. No. Um. No. It yeah. couldn't work. I think. Yeah, I don't. It wouldn't really no. work because I mean you're because you're not, playing. Because... And not all of them are connected to Desmond as well. Okay, yeah, well, like Austin. Edward. What about Austin Powers? <laughs> Grasping at straws here, dude. This topic is over. I know, yeah, I, I know. know. Oh, what about one thing? Yep. What about the um, Adam's family? Adam's family. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, we already know Uncle yeah. Fest is a Time Lord, so... <laughs> it makes the sense that the rest of them would be. Still I still can't believe... Tried to kill. I still can't believe... I still can't believe they named the baby Pubert. <laughs> yeah. I, the, I remember the one I was gonna say, um, but this one requires you to see it, and I don't know if you ever saw it. Did you guys ever see Cyber Chase? Uh, no. 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 Maybe. So that was a that was a PBS America thing. Only I'm not even gonna go, I'm not even gonna bother going there then, since you guys have no idea what it is. Yeah. You and your okay, American shows. If PBS America only, then we probably wouldn't have seen it because you know yeah. Australia. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm yeah. guessing because you haven't seen it that it was only on PBS in America. Yeah. I thought it might have been to other places. It as was well. okay. According to Brandon, it was broadcast in Australia. Mm. And he's oh, seen it. Guys, so, what time change. slot did I give it? And Three a.m. in the morning. Probably. Wait, wasn't this wasn't this about some sort of weird girl that that like could uh, interact with all the it technology? Was, no, it was about the, it was about this group of kids that yeah. were like sucked into a digital world, and it was, was apparently like, this... on Cheese TV. That just that just sounds like Digimon. Yeah, that's Digimon. <laughs> That's just Digimon. No, it, was, no, it, was a, it was actually kind of better than yeah. because there was um there was this there was this bird uh, digit that was called? played by Gilbert Gottfried. Cyber no, Chase. The... Ow, 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 to ow. It. You're breaking up again, Devin. Yeah, I'm gonna have yeah. a look at this. Yeah, Devin, you're clipping a little. You might want to turn your mic boost down. Oh, this have... thing. Ah, that's better. Oh, you know, it is. Oh. yeah. That's okay. Better. No, actually, I remember watching this thing now. Yeah. It was really horrible. What thing? Share the link. Cyber Chase. Link. They actually have... Yeah. We'll... I will put it in the call and for everyone else to see. In the chat, yeah. Um, yep. Okay. Yeah, as I said, <sighs> really, really horrible. I loved, I loved it when I grew up. Oh, that one. Yes, that one. You know, everybody remembers what it is. I do. Uh, but they didn't see oh. the You've never watched the Digi, David. Not a clue. <laughs> On I this like one, it. I'm going. No. No, just no. I liked it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we've, we've spent, you win, babe. We've spent almost half an hour on this topic. Do we, let, we've still got two yeah, others we've got to get to eventually. I'm not, not going to get any news in the way this is going. Yeah, I know. Like, that's a bad thing. Okay, let's no, go. He's got lots of news. Let's let Devin oh, have a go. For God's sake, he had lots of news last week. We gave him twenty minutes. Now for we can it. do. We can do my thing towards. towards no, we'll the end. do indie pop now. Okay. Um, we, we can cover it in sort of five ten minutes. Get it. Get it done. Yeah. So. Yeah, you shared the you shared the link for the site so everybody could check it out, yep, right? It's all up on uh, Save Sci-Fi on facebook.com slash Save Sci-Fi, where this conversation will always be continuing, even when we're yes. not here. So basically, Indie PopCon is a convention that's taking place in uh, Indiana, and this is their second. This is only their second year running, and they already got like a lot of stuff to do there. Like I was originally just going because Markiplier was going to be there, and I'm a big fan of Markiplier. <laughs> um, but I mean, Mark's going, Jack Septicai is going, Bob and Wade are going, Edward James Omos, uh, which you guys should all probably know who that is. Yes. Um, I forget what, I forget the name of the guy who plays Q, but Q's going to be there as well. Um, there's going to be a lot of, uh, animators and company, um, a company that's going to be there is, or one of the game companies that's going to be there is, uh, Volition, which you guys might know from the creators of saints row and red faction gorilla nice um and another really cool thing that i found out about like uh i think it was like last week i found out about it is uh they're gonna have this uh simulator there and it's it's shaped like an odst drop pod and you get in it and it actually simulates like if you were to be dropped from like a unsc frigate uh through orbit onto the ground Kind of like in uh, Halo 3 ODST. That would be awesome. I want one of those in Australia. In my land. Yes. I, I, I would make it a massage. And, and can, they're even going to have... Oz Comic Con, if you're listening, please do this for September. Yes, Oz Comic Con. Do the <laughs> thing. <laughs> and bring EJ over, Oz Comic Con. You know you want to. Yeah, it's a really good... It looks, the drop out looks really well done, too. They're going to have a lot of comic uh, comic book stuff, and that's. it looks like it's going to be a really good event, and I'm surprised how much stuff they have, considering it's only their second year, and they've already booked all these like really big people 
and all this stuff. And it's like, wow, these guys are so serious about this. They're doing so, putting this together really great. Um, Jolene, so if Jolene. anybody, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, if anybody is listening to this uh, in the United States or has the ability to go, I would highly recommend going. Um, it's the 26th through the 28th of this month. Um, I'm going to be there all three days and I'm actually going to be recording it because I have a, I have a media pass. Um, and me and me and the guys here talked about this a little bit, but, um, so I'm going to have a media pass. So I'll be recording and uploading like all three days, all kinds of footage. And I don't know if you guys are going to share it on your page, but I will, I'll send it to you guys in a message at least. So you guys can check it out when I put it up. We'll we'll definitely share it. Give a shout out to your YouTube channel. So those guys know where to find it and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so if you guys uh, want to check it out when we have it up or check out some of the, the stuff we'll be doing uh, before we head off to PopCon, um, just type in Gaming in Progress and we'll be the first or the, we'll be at the top of your search results on YouTube. Um, and uh, we're going to try, um, because I did talk to them about this again before we were on here, uh, we're going to try and see if we can get Q and uh, Edward James almost onto a podcast for Safe Sci-Fi because that would be really cool. So That would be awesome yeah so um so that's pretty much it all i have to say about indie popcorn for right now sweet well we'll get you back on after you've gone and do a recap so yeah. moving on to supergirl um as i said earlier we all got a copy thanks to um friends the mysteriousness of the internet <laughs> Yes and no. I'm not. I'm not going to admit that we got it off the internet. We were given it by the company to review on the podcast. <laughs> we'll go with that because <laughs> technically that's not illegal, and we don't do illegal things here. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. everybody believes yeah. you. Look! 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 A distraction. Julie, do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> so <yeah>. anyway. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Um, so, so what do you guys think? Um, the only thing that confused me a little bit was the whole, oh, look, she has, um, a sister, was given a sister by her adoption, adopted parents. Yeah. And the aunt. Yeah. Yeah, the whole, the origin story for her changed to what it is in the comics. I mean, that's kind of expected at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Considering it's made by the Arrow Flash guys, um, that'd be awesome. uh, To be fair, Flash actually, they did the right thing with Barry because that's actually how Barry got his powers. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, they did did pretty much the right thing with Arrow too. Yeah, he was on an island and stuff, and and that's true as well. Yeah. Anyway. Supergirl, the Supergirl's origin story is so different on, on the TV show than it is in the comics. Because yeah. she doesn't come to Earth like way later on. Okay. And, like and she actually comes to Earth as a as an adult, not as a child. Like okay. she comes, she comes as as full adult Kara, and she announces herself public. Like she like she doesn't got the disguise on. Like she just goes in and saves someone straight away. <laughs> like it's Whoops. still way different to what it is now yeah. still I like how they did introduce her it was yeah. different yet it's not like we're dealing with her childhood yeah they sort of mentioned no, yeah, that they... Superman's in that universe and yes. hinted at him but didn't sort of focus on it which I thought was a good way of going about it um, yeah, kind of like they have hinted he at cake. like uh... <laughs> yeah he have his blanket yeah. <laughs> he uses a kind cake of like... It re- kind of like it reflects the, bullets. Kind of, <laughs> it doesn't kind of like if I recall, holes. they hinted at um, they hinted at Wayne Enterprises and Arrow like yeah. a couple times. Mm. Yeah, which is good. I, I I like it when they do the little head nods, even though they sort of officially can't do head nods to specific characters because they don't have the rights to them. They can yeah. still sort of do head nods in the general direction, and I'd yeah, love to can... see her appear, even if even if it's only for a really quickly on Legends of Tomorrow. Once again, um, if, could, ha- could happen. Yeah, because it's if, same parent company being, and stuff. If, yeah. if we're being honest here, though, um, I'm pretty sure as far as um, like future uh, DC Cinematic Universe stuff, like movie-wise, 
I'm pretty sure at this point, uh, Stefan Amell will be Green Arrow in anything for the time being. Because, I mean, he even voiced Green Arrow in Lego Batman 3. So. <laughs> nice. Speaking, be, uh, speaking of Lego stuff, I'm looking forward to Lego World. It's going to be great. Anyway, back <laughs> on topic of Supergirl. <laughs> it would be interesting if um, she gets sent to um, Wayne Enterprise. Not that Batman would be, uh, Bruce would be there, but as to pick up something for her boss. Yeah. Well, see, they Just could a... do they could do a little tidbit. Yeah. And it, and, th- and possibly throw Damien or Dick in somewhere. Yeah. Like they, they could... for those who for those who don't know, Damien <laughs> is Bruce's um son. Yeah. Pain in the ass. You're saying son. you're saying Supergirl and throw... Nightwing. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. This is gonna sound really bad, but what you're saying is they should throw a little uh Dick at Supergirl. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> airlock um, I'll forgive him because he's a guest if it was Stuart he'd be airlocked yeah actually no, you know you know what I'm but... airlocked <laughs> airlock Stuart just because he's Stuart <laughs> he airlocked himself <laughs> eh, nope <laughs> you airlocked yourself you twit <laughs> I was just like, I'm airlocked, and then it's like. <laughs> well, you, okay, so you just don't mind throwing. Um, Stood out Dick the airlock, of course. Just but you don't the want, don't like the idea of her being sent to um, Wayne Enterprise just to pick up something for the boss. Yeah. What the hell was that? I don't. Know. I have no idea. Scarecrow, I'm gonna airlock you next. All these weird noises are coming from your end, and I'm scared. <laughs> Sorry, I think that was probably my j- jumper hitting my mic. Yeah. I was rubbing my eye. Yes. Jumper. Wait, you're in a jumper, something that cold. Sorry, too far apart. Do we have anything else? Found chicka wow wow. Don't say that. You're probably doing that right now. Today. And off the, <laughs> off the rails. <laughs> Back to Supergirl. Yes, Supergirl. Topic. Talk about it. Discussion. Um, I, I, interesting thing I find actually I found um her la- her eyes, the la- her laser eyes are a different color to what they normally are. They are. They were they were blue instead of red. Maybe they're freeze eyes. No, they were heat. Uh, yeah, they were it's heat. Explainable. I mean, her it's laser often eyes. Needs like, more practice. S- <laughs> no, because when in the scheme of things, the uh. Red is a lower temperature than the blue ones, yeah. so hers are technically hotter than soups. Clarks. <laughs> so what you're saying is she's the perfect wife. She can cook and clean oh. at the same time. <laughs> and throw myself out the airlock. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what, yeah, be care- what about her be careful. Uh, if you have any hate mail, please direct it to david at save sci fi.com. <laughs> That is and not yes, a real email. Real be careful. Be no, careful, actually, David, no, it's, are... it's, it's, it's not a real email. <laughs> be careful, David. There are people on the internet that will find offense to it and then attack oh, you. Oh, There's people on the internet that I've already offended a dozen yeah. times. It's, 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 <laughs> not a, it's not really sort of anything but expected at this point. And I'm not saying it seriously. I don't think that that's what a wife should do. After all, I cook all my meals for me. I'm also so single. Okay. And alone. And sad. <laughs> Okay, why. so... <laughs> we, didn't ask, we didn't ask for your life story. <laughs> Back on topic. Yes, Supergirl. Her she, aunt. Yes, the that aunt. That is confusing. She... Oh, no, that's easy explained. She just works for Zod. Yeah, yeah, but the way she was talking is like she was in command. Maybe the female Zod? <laughs> yeah, well, they've done, they've done weirder things. Yeah. Like, no, they've already... Um, Oh, it's sort of a bad joke, but I'm not going to go there. It's too soon. Yeah, they... I've Zod's got... already been busted out of the prison and dealt with by soups. This is this bird's taken over in his wake. Yeah. Yeah, because um... she's going, I'm not letting my a relative of mine take over the um, take over my spot. Yeah. So... <sighs> yeah. The, the what hotel is her spot? Only leaves one question. How many Kryptonians survived the destruction of that planet? <laughs> Uh, More than they want to admit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, 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 the horn guy robbed a store. It's like, yeah, well, gee, I wonder. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, guys, you're not even being subtle about you not being from around here. Just saying. No. Uh, well, they just like to come out. 
like, considering he was wielding it, what was it, an axe? Was, no. Yeah, because he was wielding a giant axe that could cut her. Uh, uh here's a question. Some, a giant horn, the horn guy robs a store. How do you, uh, ex <laughs> how do you explain that to the police when you, you're filling out the report? Yeah, there's some strange horny guy that broke in with a giant axe and robbed my store. <laughs> yeah, blame it on the mutant. I mean, if, if, if it was in, if it was in the MCU, it would make, would make more sense because, I mean, mutants. super villains are a lot more present in that right now than DC's yeah. cinema, cinematic universe. Yeah. What status yeah, I, is DC actually, Cinematic Universe at? That is the real question. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to what's left of those universes in a minute. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I think we'll we'll bump the setting up of the Marvel Universe to later, just so we've got time for the news. Um, but yeah, I actually really... Let's see, the, the trailer for Supergirl left me really on edge. I wasn't exactly sure if I was going to like it or not. It didn't really do that good of a job of setting up the show. Watching sure the pilot sure episode... Ah... I actually uh, really enjoyed the pilot episode. I'm not saying I didn't so, enjoy it, but I just don't know if I'm if I'm gonna get really into it. So yeah, well, see, I see this as another step towards the big superhero bubble burst. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It's gonna it have is. to happen sooner or later. It's you've got Arrow, you've got Flash, you've got Legends of Tomorrow, you've got Supergirl. That's one universe alone. You've got Agents of Shield plus the half dozen series that are coming out on Netflix for that in the next little while. Plus all the movies that tie into those, it's and then you've got the different. See, this is why I think DC is going to burst a superhero bubble, not Marvel, because they've got two parallel cinematic universes, one on TV and one in the cinemas. It's going to really sort of. I'm not saying not people are sort of aren't smart enough to tell the difference between the two, but there's going to be some that are going to be confused as to what the hell's going on with them both being different. The better play for DC and the way to make more money would have been to use the Arrow Flash guy universe as a stepping stone into a cinematic universe. And you have the minor players like what Marvel did in the TV show and the big boys on screen. And that, I See, think, would be a better way of doing it. And then you have some of the big boys on screen turn up on the TV shows every now and again. And you have the TV show guys turn up in the movies every now and again. See, that's the thing I don't I don't really get is, I mean, they're treating Arrow and Flash like they're little guys when they're really not little guys. I mean, they're are kind of a big part in the Justice League. Oh, yeah, they're founding members they're... of the Justice League. I, I, know, yeah. I know that, but I'm just saying, compared to Batman so, and I mean... Superman, they're not well-known characters on screen, relatively speaking. If you mm. released a Green Arrow movie, people would be like, I... Is just this another Robin Hood, or is this a Hawkeye movie? They won't sort of see it as something different. But <laughs> I'm sorry, Hawkeye still isn't. I think a movie. Green Arrow movie would have been better than that Lantern movie we had, though. Yeah, but... <laughs> it's like Hawkeye hasn't even got in his own standalone movie yet. Yeah, I know, but you, but you know what I mean. Um, and Flash, Flash could do his own movie. Yeah, I'm not. I won't disagree with that. I would, I would want to see. I would love to but... see a live action Flashpoint paradox. Yeah, I would love to see the TV. DC Universe be incorporated into the movie DC Universe. It's not impossible. Yeah. It won't be easy. I'm not going to lie. It won't be really, easy. Really, really but... cool thing if they could do with Flash is, is, is that Barry's, because uh, in season two they're going to look at multiple uh, parallel universes. Somehow Barry accidentally goes into the movie universe. That would uh, be that would mm. be awesome. Here's the thing for you. Um, yeah. At the moment, for DC to integrate the TV shows into the major movie universe is going to be really hard. Yeah. Given DC's propensity to reboot every three or four years, yeah, they, I, I think they're going to take. They're going to try and take on the MCU, and in order to do that, they're doing effectively the opposite of what the MCU did, where the Marvel guys did a movie each and then brought them together. What DC's doing is they're doing a Superman movie, then they're bringing in Batman and Wonder Woman and Aquaman, and then they're doing a Justice League movie. They're not giving these guys their own movie to set up beforehand. They're doing their own individual movies afterwards, and I think that's going to hurt them in the long run. Um, because they're going to have to leave too much time to set in either 
totally ignore the setup for these characters and just have them randomly appear, which DC has done before, or give them f- actual too much time in that movie as background story. And that could be its well, issue in its need, own well, right. You don't need background story for, for Superman. Oh, no, you don't need background story for He's Superman. You, but, you, but you need background story for Batman. You need background uh, story for Wonder Woman. If it, and depending, depending if it on the... Off, and depending, depending on if the, the bats um, carries off after um, the trilogy or not. Yeah. Because it, it could just be older Batman. It's not. Well, they've, no, already, the, they've already said it's different. Yeah, the Nolan trilogy was meant to be standalone, but still... Even so, there isn't a whole lot that isn't well known, known when yeah. it comes to Batman's origin. Doesn't really need he, yeah. much. He doesn't and really need an origin story anymore. Yeah, it, well, it doesn't need much of an origin story. You do sort of need a little bit of a backstory at least to sort of see where he's coming from in this timeline. Yeah, um, but that could be like that got... could be like ten minutes out of like an hour long. Yeah, but then you've got Wonder Woman. She hasn't had a decent movie or TV show or anything like that for decades. You've got Aquaman, who is probably just a cameo guest spot, but at the same time... Because nobody really cares about Aquaman. Yeah, because... It's, it's, it's because Aquaman is Aquaman. Aquaman always gets the short end of the stick. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It's, after all... It, well, it's deserved. What's his abilities? Oh, look, I can swim and breathe underwater, and oh, look, I can talk to sea creatures. He can also he can also make um he can also make whirlpools with his hands. Oh look, that... the enemy is on land, which he can <laughs> transfer onto land. He can bring the water from the ocean onto land. Uh. <laughs> Either way, <laughs> and yes, poor Aquaman. Yes, poor Aquaman. Poor Arthur Curry just gets thrown. Yeah, and uh, I'm glad that Jason Momoa gets to play him though. That's gonna be great. I'm oh to yes. That. Okay. Anyway, we've got. I want to see. I think a. I think a good character that they could get, have as a minor, more minor character, that would actually fit well in a live action TV show is Static Shock. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. But... I want to see all the sidekicks first. Yeah. No, not necessarily. See, to me, the Arrow TV show feels like it's done its dash. Like. It... Hey, I don't know where they're gonna go with season it's, four. It's sort of. Yeah. I, I, I could see them ending Arrow and starting Legends of Tomorrow and having Legends of Tomorrow as a continuation on from Arrow. I think that would be a really good way to go. And it'd be like yeah. if at the end of Season 8 of SG-1 they finished it and they started with Stargate Command, which I would have pref- which would, probably would have gone better. But anyway, not the point. Um, doing something like that I think would be a better way of going because Arrow's done its dash. He's got his start, he's got his middle, he's got his end three times over <laughs> every season he seems to have a different sort of thing happening there's no sort of overall long-term sort of setup there is in some yeah, cases he's just he's just mainly fighting different yeah. villains it's like oh no a different so, guy that's impossibly strong to beat um so yeah and, Death Stroke and, and, my and, and say, they yeah. are sort of running out of arrow villains yeah that too yeah um well, i so, mean technically deathstroke was a batman villain not an arrow yeah. villain yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, season one was was Malcolm Merlin, which is that's 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 like that's yeah. his main that's his main one. Yeah, and that's yeah, gone that... that's gone full circle at this point. Yeah. Um. So, well, that sort of happens a lot. They sort of always have multiple encounters. Yeah. Um. So anyway, we've got about ten minutes left. So Stuart, do you want to do the news? Yeah. So we've got some interesting news from uh for Marvel and DC with their comic book uh lines. Both of them are getting a massive reboot. Yeah, calling it a massive reboot doesn't necessarily do it justice. What's happening is they let Rodney McKay tinker with them with both universes, and he's managed to explode them to the point that there's nothing left. It's gone. <laughs> yeah, and he's so, got to um, spend the next six months in the ancient database deleting stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, a lot of series are going, and then there's a lot of new series that are coming, and a lot of changes to uh, uh, to current series. Um. We'll start on DC and then we'll go to Marvel. With yep. DC side of things, um, everyone knows that uh, everyone knows that Clark Kent is Superman and he's actually on the run from everyone. Ooh. So he's actually he's actually wanted, I should say. Yeah. Well, and when so, you the, really think about it, he does technically <laughs> act outside of the law. So. <laughs> like, think of how much damage he does. Yeah. He sneezes yeah. and removes the continent. Yeah. Uh, moving on to Batman, 
Uh, this is a really interesting one. Commissioner Gordon has taken up the role of Batman. Ooh. However, he's not in the Bat outfit. He's in a mech suit that looks like Batman. Okay, Bruce, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Bruce Wayne, and Bruce Wayne is missing. Ooh. No one knows what happened to him, he's just disappeared. Uh, a couple of new series that are coming out. We have a Starfire series, which is really cool. Yep. Uh, we have a... I actually like Starfire and the Teen Titans, so... Yeah, we have a Gotham Acad Academy series, so that it, so it's Damien at Gotham. Yeah. That's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, and then comes my personal favourite, is Red Robin. It is no longer Red Robin. Tim mm -hmm. Drake gets, flown fi gets flung 50 years into the future and becomes Batman Beyond. Oh. Okay. Which means finally all three of the of the adult Robins have all become Batman. Batmans. Very nice. Because Dick eventually becomes it. Jason was sort of an evil Batman and now and now Tim's become Batman Beyond. So What about well, Damien? Damien Damien's still a kid child. I said the adult Robins. Yeah. Hey yeah. Damien's still Damien's still in school. That's why there's a, that's why he's got his own series. Yeah. Oh, he also ha he also has his own Robin series as well, actually. So technically, he's got two series. So one where that, when he's based at school, and the one as Robin, as a standalone Robin. Yeah. There's a there's a whole bunch of videos that came out um that DC released, and it has a, um like, are you ready for awesome comedy and stuff? And it's like. It has different things for each of them. Go check yeah. them out. I'll um, put yeah. the links on. The Batman being missing and being taken, the role being taken up by somebody else does sound a little bit sort of like Arrow. Arrows. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, moving along to Marvel. Uh, now, this is where it gets really interesting. And messy. Very, very messy. Uh, yeah, very messy, but a couple of explanations I can bring upon this. So, once again, Marvel doing a big thing as well, and everything's getting changed. First major change is we have a female Wolverine. What? 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 So, you cast your mind back. Did to Did anyone else just picture him with boobs? <laughs> because it's not Logan. That's it's not, not a, Logan. That's not a thing that just happened. <laughs> at all. Logan is. It's not Logan. Logan is no longer Wolverine. Cast your back to the X Men movies and remember the chick that has the adamantium claws. The two of them. Yeah. She's gonna be Wolverine. X twenty three. The the um the chick that had that adamantium claws, as in the ones that came out at the end of her fingers, and she fought Logan by sort of wildly slashing at him. Yeah, there's multiple iterations of her where she actually has another version where she just has two claws come out from each hand instead of three. Oh, okay. And so, and and actually has her in the X Men Wolverine outfit, so like the yellow, the yellow and blue. Oh, okay. Well, um, that's not bad. Yeah. Uh, Steve Rogers is old. <laughs> He's yeah. still cut. So he, what happens with um, Steve is that he actually gets the super soldier serum sucked out of him. Oh, that sucks. So he reverts to a, to an old person. Well, not old, but middle aged. Like he's got grey hair and stuff. Yeah. Uh, Spidey is still Spidey. <laughs> yeah, but... is, so he, is he the creepy Spidey that hangs off roofs upside down above kitty playgrounds? And those who have <laughs> seen that wall art know exactly what wall art I'm talking about. Yep. <laughs> exactly what you're talking about there's one key detail I left out but you're going to have to google that image to work out what it is <laughs> I'll leave that one alone um, uh, Star Lord uh, um, Ant-Man looks a bit uh, more cartoonish I know that sounds weird it's... to say because he looks we it looks cartoonish anyway but the helmet looks more uh, uh, very cartoonish yeah um, Coulson looks the same Still, <laughs> he's, oh, no, he his... he's he's regenerated oh, a few times. Actually, let me rephrase that. Colson has his hand back. <laughs> uh, bum, bum. Ooh, Are we yeah. sure Colson isn't a Time Lord? <laughs> oh, God only knows. <laughs> he's not. A, he's not a Time Lord. He just collected the seven Dragon Balls and wished for immortality. Yeah. Um. Uh, Doctor Strange uh, has normal clothes, but he's also carrying a battle axe. Did you? You're carrying a batleth? Uh, a battle axe. Oh. Sorry, <laughs> that would be sc that would be scary. <laughs> it's like it's like, and then a wild Klingon appeared. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, thing has clothes. <laughs> thing has no, thing. clothes. 
He actually finally has clothes on that fit him. What the hell is that noise? I don't know. I think Devin's passed out on us. Mm. I think he fell asleep. Mm. Devin. No, I've just been really quiet. Mm. And okay. who was snoring? <laughs> was me. I've just hey, been sitting here really quiet. We, st- we still... We still have, we still have Lady Thor. I, I don't. Um, okay. I'm confused. That's yeah, I've been waiting to talk about Lady Thor. Because mm. I'm not sure how to feel about that. <laughs> what, now that we all know who she is? Or... Yeah, La- Lady Thor I'm okay with. Uh, Iron I mean... Man is still Iron Man. <laughs> yeah, he just looks cooler. Yes. Yeah, the helmet's more, um, it's got more of a, uh, triangular look. Oh. Yeah. The face mask of it is, is it curved in its pointed, yeah. rather, than what it lo- rather than what it looks like in the movies now. Still yeah. have Spidey, still have Spidey, uh, Spidey Gwen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love Spidey, okay. Spidey Any Gwen. other news? Uh, yes. Make uh, it, I, make it very, very quick. Yeah. Uh, the reason why Hugh Jackman is leaving with the Wolverine, this is funny, is because of the diet he had to subject himself to. <laughs> he had to. He was or he was only eating egg white, egg white omelets. Wow, wow. To bulk up for it. Uh, this is a bit interesting. Uh, Bumblebee will have a cameo in Teen- Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles too. What? There is, there's a picture that came out of a little bumblebee. <laughs> no. Uh, um, on huh. set. Stuart. So, Check the chat. Don't worry. Ignore. Ignoring. Don't worry. Scrub that. Okay. Amy, Amy broke the news. Okay. Anyway, really, really quick. A <laughs> couple of minutes left. I'm going to cut Stuart off on the news. You got anything yeah. else super important? Nah. All right. Cool. Cutting you off. Um, our friends over at Hawaii Con wanted to give you guys um, that you guys know that they've got a few of their... People have just been announced. So, HawaiiCon is held at Hapuna Beach Prince Hotel. God, I definitely said that wrong. Anyway. You actually probably got that right. Yeah, I'm not sure. They've, they've got weird ways it's of announcing. Hap- it's either Hapuna or Hapuna. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, um, on September 10 through 13 of this year, they've got all sorts of packages, including sort of hanging out with celebrities, like going for a swim, checking out the coral, and all sorts of cool stuff like that. Um, and we've got people from Star Trek, like Rod Roddenberry, people from Stargate SG-1, like Christopher Judge, Toa Rothery, and Tony Amidola are going. Just to, uh, just to clarify, more. that would be Teal'c, yep. Doc Frazier, and Braytac. Yep. And we've got Aaron Douglas from Battlestar Galactica. Tyrol. And Patricia Tolman from Babylon 5. As well as a heap of writers cosplayers, voice actors, and all sorts of stuff like that. So if you want a brilliant holiday mixed in with a con, that's the way to go. One of these years, I'm actually going to get there. I really am. I wanted to be yeah. there this year, but I couldn't make it, and I'm really sad face. But next year, I'm definitely going to try. Um, try very hard. I am a try hard. Anyway. Oh, 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 oh! And before I forget, those uh... who are in Australia... Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes are coming to do a tour the same time that Brisbane Oz Comic Con is on. The same days. For those who don't know who that is... <laughs> that is Jay and Silent Bob. If you don't know who Jay and Silent Bob are, leave the podcast right now. <laughs> yeah. Where have you been for the past 15 years? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Under any- a rock. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it is time to say our goodbyes, so... Just remember, the conversation always continues on save, on facebook.com slash save sci-fi. We've almost finished doing the games tournament. We're probably going to cover that in the next couple of weeks. Um, other than that, we're out of here. So say goodbyes, people. Bye, all. Goodbye. Bye, everyone. See you later, everybody. So, so, um, I don't know if that went through because the outro was already playing. Yeah, it went through. We're talking over the outro. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, the outro oh. always plays for the last minute. It's sort of my minute left. Let's put some music on. Oh damn! I wanted to do a couple shoutouts. Oh well. You did. Oh well. 
Three. Good luck. Everyone. Yeah. Yeah, well. yeah. See you guys next week. Bye.